Yeah, good afternoon again. I'm just uh, going to kind of continue where I left off with the last video. Uh, I'm down in what was our rice fields down here. As you can see where we grew our beans uh, this last year. And what we've done here is I want to use this for gardening. Uh, we dug up, uh, yeah, three rows here. And uh, last week I started do doing the weeding in between the rows. As you can see, pretty well overgrown. And we also got to get down below and, uh, and start weeding that too. And that'll be a, a big project uh, this week, I'm sure the kind of weed between the rows and of course as you can see a lot of growth here even though uh, we're in the middle of a drought uh, boy I'll tell you <laughs> the weeds don't seem to know the difference and uh, my pineapple my two fields of pineapple here but uh, not getting any production I expect uh, that maybe this year we're going to start getting some production out of these two fields but uh, doesn't look like yet, but uh, that'll come. So yeah, plenty of work cut out for us here. And as I look across over there too, uh, and uh, guess what? All the coffee trees over there made it. So, and I think that's just because uh, the soil is so much better there. And the moisture that runs off the road just um, keeps the ground a little bit more wet there. Uh, but at least, uh, and that's I think about eight, eight or nine coffee trees there, but like I said, they all survived. And of course our well there is uh, still dry. We're still hauling water with all the rain we had, uh, oh, the last few days in the last week or so, uh, we've been able to save enough water and get water out of our pool so that we didn't have to during all last week uh, when Lando was gone to get water. Uh, but we've gotten down to about a minimum here and used up uh, a lot of our reserve. So uh, he just hauled uh, two loads of water this morning. So we'll no doubt be down in here. And like I said, I've already started this last week, weeding this. Uh, <laughs> like I said, and now with a little bit of moisture, oh boy, the weeds just absolutely, uh, absolutely take over. And uh, you just got to keep ahead of the ball game here, and that's a little bit harder to do. So, yep, and of course one of the dogs followed me down here. And uh, we have done no more work. This is all the dirt that came out of our well there, the new hole that we're digging. We're down about 13 feet. Haven't done anything else. Uh, no budget. So that's going to have to wait, like I said, till uh, hopefully the house in town will sell. And uh, then we can hire a crew to come in here and finish digging that. Uh, and of course then we also gonna drill a well that we've got down below we're gonna redrill it out because the hole is all full of mud and everything and uh, see if we can get uh, the water there as you can see by the banana field here Wow I know the soils not that good right here uh, but the drought just devastated it completely. Uh, we're going to have to be <laughs> replanting a, a whole lot of banana trees here. And the ones that are still standing, uh, not too healthy. And just about every one in the first row here, as you can see looking down, uh, pretty well died. And I was hoping with the rain that's coming that uh, we'd get a little life coming back. But... Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like it. Uh, like I said, the drought, uh, you can just look at the, the lawn here. This used to be a nice lawn through here. And I just cut the big stuff here yesterday and raked it up. But as you can see by 
all the brown dirt and the brown areas here just again decimated by the drought I'm hoping that it's over uh, and it seems to be we're starting to get uh, some consistency in the rain even though except for the two big downpours and the one oh about three weeks ago uh, they're about uh, It'll rain at about a one to two, two to three for maybe four or five minutes and then it's kind of done. And even this uh, banana field here, everything from here on down was basically uh, I died. And at least we got some good growth here. Uh, and these are my favorite three right here and uh, none of it and looking good right now but uh, hopefully we'll get some growth out of it so that kind of takes you through here and that's all we've been doing and we just cleaned all the pig pens this morning Lando and I and of course added it uh, to our compost rows if you look down here that's a brand new row and a matter of fact this also is a brand new row that we started last week and as I turn around here another brand new row right here of compost and uh, all this uh, from the leaves the cut rice hay and of course the pig dung and we just added more today to build up the rows all this compost here went into our garden fields that I just showed you in the last video a garden field one two three and four uh, so that gives you an idea of how much compost we're using and uh, and it looks so good that uh, that we've done that yeah it'll all come back like i said the rainy season hopefully uh this is kind of early yet <laughs> so uh I'm uh, just hoping that even the little bit of rain we get at night and generally early a.m. and I'm hoping that continues. Uh, Lando's going to be coming back after lunch here and we're basically filling up the water here so uh, that Beth has got water for her feed and uh, our last group of piglets, uh, matter of fact, today the 10th, uh, they're weaned. Uh, they've been starting to eat solid food. We still got them in with the mom there, but uh, they're uh, ready to be sold. And as you can kind of see here, yeah, they're relaxing with the mom. One, two, three, four, five, six, or seven. There's eight. I think that's all of them that are left. Oh, nine, ten. In the back here, as you can see, look at that. So hopefully they'll be okay. They look like they're okay. So good. And like I said, we just got done cleaning it out here. So, that kind of hopefully brings you a bit up to date here on what's been happening with the farming end of it. And uh, the work continues, like I said, uh, every day we do something. And uh, that's what's made this all happen here. And uh, we're so happy. And the way it looks is just uh, really a pleasure. A pleasure to get up in the morning and walk around and just look at everything here. So from the back of the camera, I'm going to say goodbye again. Like and subscribe. And surely. I hope that God blesses every single one of you.